amor, ¿para dónde vas? Ay, mami, me iba a tomar una cerveza con mis amigos hoy. Ay, mi amor, pero yo pensé que nos íbamos a quedar juntos viendo una peliculita. Ah, sí. Bueno, que... Okay. Yo como que cambio de opinión, ¿no? Así me quedo contigo, mi vida. Ay, gracias, mi amor. Bueno, siéntate ahí, corazón. Ahí, ahí. Ajá. Espera que yo te prepare las cosas, ¿oíste? Hey Tanya, good night girl, how are you? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good? Yeah, I cannot hear you. Your, your, your Microsoft is on mute, I think. Okay. There you go. Yes. Now I can hear you. Hey, how was your day, Tanya? Was it good? Yes, it was good. That's nice. That's and nice. I barely sleep. Ah, you slept <laughs> a little bit? Really? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sometimes our body's tired and we need to rest, right? A little bit to recharge our batteries. <laughs> that's amazing. Hey, I love your hair. Now you, your hair is curly hair, right? Curly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Do you have some products that you used to take care of out of your hair? Yes, es como una gel, es, it's pero gel? es un tratamiento. Oh, it's a treatment. It's a hair treatment. That if you put it after you wash it and you, uh, after you do all this regular stuff, you put it and you leave it there? Or you put it during the, yes. the wash? Oh, get okay, the shower. Oh, so no. it's, it's, a, it's a treatment after that. Oh, that's after nice. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I do have a treatment, but I have to put it in between. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and I had to leave it like 15 minutes and then I need to take it off. Because I have like a sun treatment on my hair, right? A cold rain and uh, so that I need to like take care about it right? also. But that's good. That's part of being girls. <laughs> as I like it. Hopefully <laughs> the rest will enjoy today's class because today's class will continue with the adverbial classes of time. We already talked about when, but we need to learn about other two that we also use. You know what? We're going to continue talking about a special days, but a special customs. And I think you're going to remember <laughs> some things about your, um, well, not childhood, but also that when you were younger and you were uh, single before you get married. Yeah. We're going to remember yes. a lot of things <laughs> that you cannot imagine. So it's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Have you tried to like, um, I don't know, double check? You have any doubts about uh, the topics right now? Do you have any questions about any a specific exercise of the platform? No? Uh, section four. Section four. Now that's what, is uh -huh. um, they use the if. Oh, that condition. Conditional. Oh, we have not seen that yet, but we're going to see it. A uh, future, mm -hmm. the past, uh, present, and future. The past, the present, and the future, or what? Um, this is this, this, easy. Is easy? Um, is it busy, verb, busy? Yes. You oh, say okay. if. Yes, that, that is the, the first conditional, is the one that we're going to see. There are more than first conditional, you know, I had to let you know there's a lot of. Uh, but today, uh, well, in this um, model, only the first condition is the one that we're going to see, basic, the, the basic one, the simple one. Yeah, just try to do it. And if for some reason you still have a problem with that, just let me know. Hey, let me ask you something. Ed, do you guys, oh, well, in your case, we got to wait until the rest comes. But would you like to try to sing a song here? Everybody sing? Yeah, sing. Do you like to sing? <laughs> I'm asking. Yes. Yes. Do you have a specific yes, favorite, a uh, specific um, kind of music that you like to sing? Um, electronic music. Electronic music. Oh my goodness! Yeah. For my, for me, it's really hard because I don't know a lot of electronic <laughs> music. Uh, my my kind and of like salsa. Is, oh salsa. Alrighty. No, but yeah. I mean in English. Do you like English music? Do you listen to English music? Ah, yes. 
romantic music. For example, <laughs> do you have a favorite singer? Um, no. No, not really. Not my favorite. No. But is there like a, a specific singer that you listen the most? Uh, Balada de rock. Okay, like the eighty ones. 80, 90. 90 is all right. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have, uh, do you like Bon Jovi, for example? Okay. The Beatles, uh, Scorpions, the Europe. Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about yes, single like ladies that. like the, not Beyonce, of course. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, um, like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Tony Braxton. No. You don't I like don't them? Like, no. You, why not? Um, my favorite group is. Um, sin bandera. Ah, okay. But only that. But that is in Spanish. Yes. You, so you prefer a Spanish songs than uh, English songs? Yes. Yeah. Or, or half and a half? Uh -huh. Half, half and a half. Okay. Do you like Beatles? Yeah. Hey, what is your like. favorite Beatles song? Oh, I don't know um, the, the name, uh -huh. but I, I like. Imagine, I don't know. Oh, Woman. Imagine is the, is the famous. Yes, I think it's Elton uh, John Lennon is the one that sings, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the famous one. Oh, yesterday, there's another one as well. Yeah. Okay, to try to think about it. And maybe we can sing a song together by the end of this model, which is next coming week, right? Can you imagine Tati? Tanya, sorry. Oh my God. I confused <laughs> because your name is Tanya and I have a, a girl uh, on the group before you, after you, sorry, that her name is Tatiana. Mm -hmm. So I sometimes I let her know Tanya and I was like, teacher is Tatiana. Oh my God. So <laughs> for me to not to confuse, I said Tati to her. And Tanya to you. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's really complicated. <laughs> yeah, Anita Sanabria is joining today's class. Hopefully, uh, uh maybe Nati could be stuck in the traffic. That might be right. Yeah, so a sorry. lot of traffic. It is a lot of traffic. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. Oops. Well, well, the, well. Uh, strip construction. Yes. Um the video pico. Okay, yeah. It's Terrible. Terrible. Wow. Why is that? No idea. Uh, construction and bypass. Oh, so that is causing the traffic? Yes. Now it's terrible. Terrible. And you don't know when they're going to finish it. Four months. Four months. Oops. Yeah. No way. Oh, wow. Well, Mm. And there are no alternative ways to get into your house? Mm. No. For me, no. For, you gotta pass it through that. Yes. Oh my God, no matter what. My worry is in, in La Orde. Uh -huh. And I live in Versailles. And... Oh, yeah. So you must. Only. That's the only, only way, right? So that yes. means that you need to leave your house a little bit early, right? Yes. Uh, but because you said that you are in around 10 minutes in car, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, now, uh -huh. uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah. So uh, what time are you supposed to, well, you're supposed to be at 8 at, after your work, right? Or at 7? Uh, 10. <laughs> at 10? Oh, my God, that's amazing. Oh, but uh, even though at that time is still those, traffic? Uh, son dos turnos. There are, okay, there are two shifts. Two shifts. Oh. Uh, the first is the 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. at 2 p.m. Oh, that's nice. And the second is 10, 10 a.m. at a cierre. Until the, the closer time. Well, I yeah. prefer the 5 to 2. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one is much better because you do have the rest of the day to do a lot of things, go to the bank, etc. right? Go to the supermarket, rest. Yes. Yeah. I take a nap. <laughs> yeah, you can take a nap. But uh, yeah. so that means that you don't have the same shift. One week you have one shift yes. and the second week you have another one shift. Week. Oh, one week. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So right now you are between you are in the 5 to 2. 
Yeah. Oof. But you, at five, you'll still traffic at five? Yeah. Wow. Sleep uh, los chorros. Really? So what time are you supposed to leave your house? Uh, if you if you uh, shift the stars at 5 a.m., you should leave at 4? No, uh, and now is the second turn. Ah, the second turn from yeah. 10 until the closer time. Thanks yeah. God you came on time for today's class. <laughs> 6 30 uh, p.m. Mm -hmm. I go to the I I go to the home. You you came back home. Back home. It's you finish or you arrive home at 6 30? You finish at 6 30. Ah, okay, okay. So you finish at 6 30 and you arrive at around what time to your house? At 40, 40 minutes. 45 minutes. So that means that you are like a 7 15 at home. Yeah. Wow. I yes, I know. <laughs> tired. I understand. But I really appreciate that even though you're tired, you're here. You're here because we're we are going to learn a lot of things today. Yes, we're going to continue with the um, uh, adverbial clauses of time as I was explaining to you when, but today we're going to double check about another two. We're going to talk about um, since and also we're going to talk about after and there's a lot of them. Okay, we're going to send it to you. I will send it to you like um, separate in the group to, for you to have more vocabulary about that because we have a lot of relative clauses of time. But today we're going to focus on the three. And that is easy peasy queasy. Uh, uh, do you remember the, um, the dialogue that we practiced yesterday about Emiko and Jill? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. The so, exactly. The so I want you to go to the WhatsApp right now and try to open it. Uh, um, and I want you guys to check on this one. So let me check. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sulmita. Good night. Good night, Rachel. How are you, girl? Pretty good. Good night. It's amazing to, to have yeah, you here. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm so happy. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Sulmita and Rachel, uh, Thanks. also, do you have the, the dialogue that we practiced yesterday with you right now? Do you have it? Yeah. Okay, do me a favor, open it. Open it in the WhatsApp section that I sent it to you because I want everybody to be on the same page, okay? Uh, let me check here really quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay. Take a look, for example, on the second intervention of Emiko when it said at a shrine, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine, okay? You remember that? Okay, let's, let's write it right now on the chat. You said, when people get married in Japan, you see that is a, a proper name of a country who has to put it in capital J. You said, they sometimes have the ceremony, ceremony, yep, uh, at a shrine. Okay. So already write it right now to you. Uh, take a look. That first word, girls, when, when. That is one of adverbial clause of time, when. Do you remember that? That, you see, we, we used that in yesterday's conversation, in yesterday's uh, a dialogue, but we didn't know that. Basically, guys, <clears throat> uh, the relative clause of time, um, it, we have two um, sentences. Two sentences a relative clause of time which is a subordinated um, sentence and the second sentence you can see after japan there is a comma they said they sometimes have the ceremony in the shrine at a shrine sorry that is a main sentence take a look at this one because um for example if you just read girls and sulmita i want you to just read for me the first part when it says when until Japan, just that. Can you please read for me that little space, a little phrase? Where people get married. Yes, when people get married in Japan, just that. Can you read it for me once again, please? At a time where people get married in Japan. Okay, stop there, sometimes... stop there, stop there, stop there. Very good, thank you, Zulmita. So you said, when people get married in Japan, okay. 
if you leave that only part of the sentence, guys, does it make sense to you? When no. people get married in Japan, okay, only that. What is what is the first thing that comes to your mind? If you just hear or read when people get married in Japan, does it mean something? No, 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 no right? Exactly. B because when you read that, you use that is for you, that is incomplete, right? The idea is incomplete. So you said, when people get married in Japan, but what? You said, that's the first thing that comes in your mind. So what? That you see, guys, that is why the, the relative clause, in this case, when, the one that we're using right now, the sentence that has the relative clause. That's why we call subordinated sentence because if, you, if I just read or write that only sentence with the second idea, that, I, that sentence doesn't, have, doesn't make sense, right? Doesn't make sense because it's, it still needs extra information to, to let us know what's going on. So that's why we call subordinate. That means that with a relative clause, we need something else to complete the idea. But take a look on this ones. Okay, now, Tanya, just read for me after the coma, after Japan, coma. Can you read for me the second part, please? They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Very good. If you read that sentence, does it, does it uh, let you know something or give you any information? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. They let you know that sometimes the ceremonies are shine. Okay, that's good. If you see that, that's the main idea because I can just say the second sentence, and and that makes sense for me. That that's why we call main sentence, because for for that for itself it means something, but I cannot do exactly the same thing with the first part. You see, that's why the first part of this whole idea. That calls subordinated, and the second part it calls main idea. So now, if we join these two together, we can give like um, more explanation about something, right? So be because the adverbial clauses of time is giving us know the information when something happens. Okay, that's what it is the the um, the role in for adverbial clauses of time that give us the information when something is happening. So if we read completely the idea, you will see that we understand much better. Rachel, do me a favor. Can you please read the entire idea for me, the one that I sent in the chat? Uh, you have the chat. The, yeah, the part of the Miko. Yes, of the Miko, exactly. Uh, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Very good. Excellent. So you see, girls, that sentence joins two. When people get married in Japan is a subordinated sentence that we have when as a very close of time. And then we have they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine, the main idea. See, so if we join the two ideas, we have a complete a scenario. You see? how the variable clause works. But in this time, when, do me a favor, that little word is at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the sentence. Where is, where, be, where do I locate it? Mm -hmm. Can be in the middle or in the, or the mm -hmm. first? Yes, actually, it yes. It on the context. Exactly, Zulmita. Yes, you're right about that. Relative clause of time could be at the beginning, or on the middle. But in this case, in that sentence, when people get married in Japan, where is the relative clause? At the beginning or in the middle? The beginning. At the beginning, exactly. So that is why I want you to take a look. If we put the relative clause at the beginning of the sentence, after we finish the idea of the subordinated sentence that has the relative clause, Look what we have to do after Japan. What do we put after Japan, girls? What we put? Take a look. It's a punctuation that we use. What we use it? What do we use? Read it. 
and give me the answer, please. One at a time, one at a time, please. Hold your horses, one at a time. <laughs> Teacher, I don't understand the what? The question. Okay. Yeah. Take a look at the Miko situation. The Miko says when people get in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony in a shrine. Take a look at that sentence. After I finish the idea of the relative clauses of time sentence, which is ends in Japan word, what do I put next? You can do it, Tanya. Yeah. What? What's your meeting? Or Rachel? They sometimes. Aha, uh -huh. yes. In between they sometimes in Japan, what is it? What is is it is little is the little thing that is between? It's a punctuation thing. That uh, no, that is at the end. That uh, no. No, how you say that in English? It's exactly the same in Spanish. Coma. Coma. Exactly. Coma. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Coma. But but you don't just you don't say coma, right? You say coma like that, right? Coma. coma. Yeah. <laughs> like with elegant. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that you said teacher, but I, that seems obvious. No, <laughs> it's not that obvious. Okay. Why I ask you to focus on that? Because I want you to learn how to write it correctly. If you use the relative clause of time at the beginning of the sentence and you finish the idea and you're going to start the second idea, you have to separate it by comma. If you do not do that, that is wrong. Because you're not going to understand when finish this thing and when it starts a new one. So that's why I ask you to put attention on the punctuation because it's really important. So you... Uh, you put a comma and then you continue with the second sentence that is the main idea and finish with period. Very good. But if you do use the, um, the relative clause in the middle of the sentence, you're not going to use comma. Okay? Only at the beginning of the sentence. Let's do it right now. Let me check. Let me see if I have another example here in the, in the dialogue. When just when you can use when no is no comma comma ah uh, no it, it, you if, yes it is but if it is in the middle is it if it's in the middle you don't use it but if it's at the beginning uh -huh. yes for example okay. you can said eh, they sometimes have a ceremony to shine. Okay, you can let, let's do exactly the same thing. Okay, let me use the same example, but I'm going to give you the example when I use when in the middle of the sentence. So what I'm what we're going to do is to use the second idea, the main idea at the beginning. Okay, let me put it like that. They sometimes, let me put it right now here, sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Oh, I put it uh, two times. When people get married in Japan, take a look at the second sentence. Where is when? In the middle. In the middle. And you see, I use the main idea at the beginning. And when is in the middle. Should I use a comma? No. Okay, and that will happen with all the relative classes okay, of time. You can use it in the at the beginning. If you use it at the beginning, you need to put it comma between the two ideas. But if you use it in the middle, there is no necessary. Okay. Take a look at another example. Let me check it out. We have another example because we have more, more than one relative class. We have used right now when. But let me double check about another one. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, we have something that is good. Let me check it out. Oh, yes. Take a look, girls, at um, almost the last intervention of Emiko. Almost that. When it says it really, it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and the group give them presents. Let's, let's write that. Before, before the guesses, right? 
the guests leave. Oops. Coma, we have there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The bride and the groom and the groom bride and the groom uh, 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 give them places. Okay. If you take a look, we have another another um, relative clause of time before. We already know when, and then we have before. So, uh, Rachel, you look tired today, my dear. Oh, do me a <laughs> favor. Can you please read for me that sentence before the guests leave? Okay. Before the guests. Mm -hmm. Before the guests leave, mm -hmm. the Brian Corun give them presents. Very good. So take a look. In that sentence, girls, what where is the relative clause of time? Take a look at the sentence. Where is it? Is it at the beginning or in the middle? What do you think? In the middle. Are you sure? No, it's at the beginning. Why is it at the beginning, Sumit? Because the before the guests leave, uh, exactly. the the, the uh -huh. another center is the is is the mix exactly is to complete is the main one exactly. For yeah. example, do uh, do uh, let's do an exercise, Rachel and Tanya. Okay, put your finger in your cell phone and just um. Yes, put in the in your finger on the on the on your cell phone and just cover the part that says before the guests leave. Just cover that and try to just uh, read the bride and the groom give them presents. If I said the bride and the groom give them presents, does it make sense? Do you want it is it understandable? Only that part, the bride and the groom give them presents. Uh, it's, it's normal sentence. It's normal, it's a normal sentence. Okay, so now put your finger in covering the bride and the groom, give them presents and just read the first part before the guests leave. If you just read that part, does it make sense? No. No, no. so that is one tip that you can use to identify which one is the main sentence and which one is a subordinated. Most of the time, the subordinated will be the one that has the adverbial clause of time. So you see, we're using another adverbial clause of time. This one is before. And take a look, girls. It is always separated by coma. You see that? Or no? Yeah? yeah, very good. Excellent. All righty. And also, there's another one here. Okay, uh, let's double check the last one that I want to mention to you. But let me double check. Where is it? Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Mm. Let me check it out. I need to identify. There's a lot of it, but I want you to do it like um, a, a really easy one. Let me check. Oh, yes. Take a look at this one when it says, after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. That is another adverbial clause of time, girls. After. After the meal. Do you remember what is a meal? Any idea? Like a dinner. Well, yes, dinner we can consider a meal. Also, um, breakfast is a meal. And uh, lunch is a meal as well. We can say it in Spanish, uh, después de la comida. Right? We can say it that way. After the meal, mm -hmm, the guests give a species and sing songs, right? Sing songs. Very good. 
All righty. So you see, guys, uh, we have another example of relative class of time. We have after the meal, coma, that gets us guilt, species, and sing songs. So right now, girls, we have uh, learned three relative classes of time. Could you please be so kind to uh, let me know which one we have learned so far? What is the first one that we learned right now? When. When. What is the second one? Huh? Coma. Before. No, coma, no. <laughs> <laughs> what before? Uh, before. Uh huh. And the last one? After the meal. After. Very good. Now, girls, let me ask you this is a quick question. That is like a review question right now, so far. Can I use the relative clause at the middle of a sentence? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Very good. Excellent. May I ask you, when do I separate? the um, sentence that has a relative clause with the one that is the main idea. When do I separate it by comma? When? When the sentence is at the when the relative clause is at the beginning. Exactly. With the relative clause or very clause of time, it is at the beginning of the sentence. But do I have to separate by comma if it's in the middle? Yes or no? Do I have to separate it with comma if I put the relative clause of time in the middle of the sentence? No. No. Okay, very good. Huh? Very good, excellent. Very good. Now, girl, I want you to do it like, a, we're going to do an activity, okay, together because it's like, <sighs> <laughs> like everybody's like, <sighs> Yes. Okay, let's do some activity right now to wake you up a little bit and then we're going to continue right now. Okay, have you played Simon Says? Have you played Simon Says? No? Never in your life? Never? No? Okay, for example, says Simon Says, touch your eyes and you touch your eyes. Oh. Okay, Simon uh, Says, yeah. touch your nose and you touch your nose. But there are no rules. Okay, because you need to listen carefully if I said Simon Says. If I said Simon says, and I said, for example, a part of your body, in this case, the face and up to the shoulder, right? Because it's the only part that we can see each other, right? <laughs> okay, yes, so we're going to touch it. But you had to let me know, you had to be careful because I can say something, but I can touch another part of my body. So if you touch the body of my, of, uh, that I, uh, your part, the part of your body that I'm touching, but you do not touch the part of the body that I said you to touch, you lose. Okay? You need to be careful. And you need to listen carefully that I said Simon says, because you can touch the right part of your body. But if you do, I do not say Simon says, you lose. Okay? So you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's wake up a little bit. All righty. Okay, let's practice. Okay, I'm going to be nice, but then I'm going to do it. Ah, and also, if you if I say something and you do not do it, you lose. So you need to be faster. Okay, faster. Yeah. Okay. Like you need to have your batteries recharged. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's practice. Okay. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your cheeks. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your eyebrows. Simon says, touch your forehead. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your teeth. Simon says, touch your tongue. Okay, very good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, you know what, what how do you say this in English, girls? Chin. Chin. Very good. Chin. Chin. What about this? Neck. Neck. Remember, they're going to kill me in the neck. Remember that? <laughs> All righty. Very good. How do you say pestaña? Ah, do you remember when you go? Lashes. Eyelashes. Exactly. Eyelashes. That is the little thing that we put in the mascara, right? That is the eyelashes. All right. Very good. How do you say this in English? Shoulders. Shoulder. Shoulder and shoulders. All right, very good. What about this? Hands. Hand, exactly, hand. What about this? 
wrist. Knee? Wrist. 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 What about wrist. this? Fingers. Fingers. And this? Nails. <laughs> Remember nail polish. Right? Nail. What about this? Tacaño. No, oh, no, 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 no. But, but the part of your body. Oh. oh. <laughs> elbow. 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 All right. Remember elbow, the little cartoon for the Sesame Palace? <laughs> but it's elbow. Okay. Uh, Very good. Okay. So I'm going to do it faster. Okay. Simon says, touch your ears. Oops. You lose, Ulita. Bye bye. <laughs> Here. You, you need to do it faster, okay? Okay, one more time, girls, one more time. Okay, Simon says, touch your forehead. <laughs> Almost, Danny. Okay, Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, oh, no, you lose, Danny. <laughs> too, too, too much time. Okay, 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 Danny. Stay there, but we're going to play just with Rachel and Sumita. Okay. Teacher, but, yes. but I, I touch my, my ear, for example, in plural, uh, only my hand because the another hand I... I yes, no, no, of course, I understand, but at least you touch a part of your body, okay, which is really good, okay, okay, so we're going to have a battle between Sumita and Rachel, okay, Simon says, touch your tongue, <laughs> phew, Simon says, touch your teeth, teeth, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> but, okay, I Rachel, I heard. Yeah, I know. Cheeks. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so the winner is Samita. Yeah. All righty, very good. Now you have more energy. <laughs> A little bit, right? <laughs> you see? Yeah. You will never sleep in my class. Never. <laughs> in French, there's a word that says Jacadi is exactly like Simon says. Yes. Jacadi. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's continue, girls. Now, I think you're ready for writing activities, right? Nah. <laughs> okay, let me just a couple of minutes. All righty. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is going to be like, um, yes. No, let's just speak right now, girls. This is going, I'm going to send you like information, but it's going to be, um, basically, will be for, exercises at home okay now do, let, do me a favor let me wait a little bit and then i will send it to you something that i want you to use for practicing okay so bear with me let me check this out mm -hmm. okay Let me just one moment. I will send it to you right now to the WhatsApp because you're going to work together as a team, okay? So bear with me for a moment. There you go, I have here. What's that? Okay, guys, this is going to be so much fun, you know, because we're going to talk about a lot of things that we'll do and celebrate it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, this is the one that I need. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the things and then we can discuss it. Okay, do me a favor. Just let me know as long as you're able to see it and to receive it, okay? Okay, there you go. Okay, do you receive it now, girls? Yep. Yes. Hey, Rosario. Hi, girl. 
Hi, good evening. Good evening. That is a good evening. <laughs> Excuse me. No, that's good okay. Evening. But uh, I'm so happy that to have you here. And you came in a really good time, you know, because um, I already sent you right now to all of you girls, the information that we're going to discuss right now. Today, Rosario, we're talking about uh, relative uh, uh, various causes of time we have seen before, after, and when. And today, guys, this is going to help us because uh, we're going to talk about a really interesting customs uh, related to topics. Right now, girls, I send it to you the information on the WhatsApp. And we have births, we have courtship, good luck, marriages, and seasons. Guys, before we continue, um, is there a word that you don't know what does it mean for the ones that I send it to you right now? Courtship. Courtship. Cortejo. <laughs> Cortejo. Yeah, for example, in Rosario, in my days, there were like one way to, to do, right? But in today, in your, your days, girls, in Rachel's day or Sulmita and Tania's, there was another way, right? So we're going to talk about that. That is going to be so much fun. Okay, let's let's uh let's have a like um like a friend talk, okay? Let's just start got girls uh with to understand customs or interesting customs related to these topics. For example, birds, nacimientos, birds. What can we say about birds? What are some customs that we have here in El Salvador, girls, that we can talk about? When a baby, uh, uh, when a baby is born, what does the dad and the mom usually do? I don't know. Toys. What? Toys. Toys, okay, what else? Cloth. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, continue. I want you to use girls the relative clauses of times. You can say when, you can say before, you can say after. For example, Rosario, before your children, uh, you, or before you give a children your a birth, what, what do you have to do or what you do? Do you understand my question? Buy the clothes. Uh huh. Oh. I buy the clothes. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Continue. Then buy the milk. The milk. Okay. What else? And, and for the. Mm hmm. Una. <laughs> yeah, or oh, decorate, right? Decorate the room, decorate right, girls? Room. Uh -huh. yeah. And for example, if the mom and the dad find out that it's going to be a girl? Pink. Pink, yes, <laughs> exactly. And if it's going to be a boy? Blue. Blue, or sometimes yellow, right? Yeah, yeah, yellow. And, oh, and also there is something that the family and the friends do for the coming baby to help their parents. What do they do? That is a party for the baby. Let me shower. Yeah, exactly. Before the baby comes. Remember, you see, we're using a relative classes of time. Before the baby comes. Uh-huh. Who can continue the idea? Before the baby comes. Any idea? To celebrate, uh -huh. to celebrate uh, baby uh -huh. shower. Very good. Who celebrate the baby shower? Who? For me. <laughs> for you? No. To for who? No. Who? Uh, Family and parents and, parents. and friends. Exactly. What else? What else? So now we use um after after the baby is born. Mm hmm. Ideas. 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 I'm helping you with a with a relative class, okay? You need to continue with ideas. Uh huh. Sulmita or Rachel after the Bam. baby is born. Uh huh. Uh, the the mom. Uh huh. Uh, buying milk. Uh huh. The boy uh, buy uh, the, the mom buys milk for the baby. Mm hmm. What else? After the baby is born, the parents, what? From the hospital to the house, what they do? 
uh, give presents. Uh, give presents. What else? The baby's in the hospital. But after mm. the baby's born, what happened with the baby? How can you get the baby from the hospital to the house, guys? Rachel? Uh, parents. Hmm? What? 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 Sorry, Rachel. They celebrate. They celebrate, but what else? Uh -huh. the, uh, the parents uh, the go baby. back home uh -huh. with the with the baby. Exactly, you can say that, or you can say the parents take the baby back home with them. Okay, very good, excellent. Now let's move on. <laughs> this is a really interesting topic: courtship. <laughs> courtship in hey, rosario this is a really interesting one because in your days in my days it will be in a one way right but it's different when sulmita tania and rachel's day okay so it's different yeah so tell me um rosario in your days when a boy uh, likes a girl what did they do i don't know they talk. I, they talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen to Rosario because the courtship in Rosario's area is it, it was different from our area, right, Rosario? <laughs> or no? Do you remember your time when your husband was your boyfriend? What did he do? Tell us. Nobody will know. It's going to be a secret. <laughs> uh huh. Well, not exactly your husband, but but in common. In common. Mm -hmm. When when a poor baby. No, no, no. When a <laughs> your courtship that means um cortejo, romantico. Mm -hmm. So what do normally the boys do to express to a girl that they like their? Teacher, um, uh -huh. in English is the same sal salkear, right? What's, what's that? What's that? Oh, or not? Oh, when they are um, third, the girl. Uh huh. The girl what? Uh, on 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 the social media. Uh huh. Sometimes boys do that. In the social media. Yeah, in, in, on Facebook uh -huh. or Instagram, yeah. <laughs> they search for a girl on the Instagram? I think, well, <laughs> if they met a... If oh, they, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, you mean that uh, nowadays when a boy likes a girl, he search for the girl in, in, in the social media? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's in. So, but but use but use the relative clause of time. Give me that exactly information, but with relative clause of time, Tati, Tanya, Rachel. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't understand you. Okay, now <laughs> that information is perfectly fine and it's really interesting. But can you use a, a relative clause of time to give me that information once again? Okay. You can use when. You can use before. You can use okay. after. Okay. Uh, when a boy likes a girl, mm -hmm. uh, they sometimes search the girl on Facebook or Instagram, and then uh, they starting to chat uh -huh. um, on the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it depends <laughs> who, who wants to do the first step, right? If he says, I like you or her. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That changes completely. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, and sometimes they continue chatting for, for months, right? Before yeah. they physically get to know each other. That's amazing. <laughs> I remember yeah. that my mother and uh, my grandma, she used to tell me, that when a girl uh, likes, well, when a boy likes a, a girl in this case, uh, they used to bring them serenata, right? Yeah, they're really romantic. Yes. 
And but, but if, is... in front of the in the window, and if the girls open the windows, that gave the the guy a, like like a clue that she likes him. You know what? Yeah, and that happens to my sister once, <laughs> but she didn't open the the window. And the next the next day, we had a neighbor, an old a lady, like sixty years old by then. She said, "You know what, Silvita? What? Uh, yesterday, I was really happy because I remembered when my husband used to bring me serenata when I when we were like boyfriend and girlfriend." Ah, uh, really? I told her, yeah. I don't know who who gave that serenata to who, but it was really nice. And I was like, <laughs> and she didn't know that it was from my sister. <laughs> but it was, you know what? But it was really nice. So, so that that had happened, right, Rosario? In in, in our times. Mm -hmm. So they were like a little bit shy. What about girls talking about a different topic right now? What about uh? marriages has it changed nowadays marriages what do you think yeah <laughs> yeah for example sumita what oh, you can say about that before mm -hmm. before marriages mm -hmm. uh, the the women mm -hmm. the women uh, do the laundry every day Ah, do the laundry every day uh, before or after? It's before. Before. Antes. No, no, sorry. After. Ah, after. After. Ah, after. After the marriage. Yeah. Yes, and we yeah. can ask Rachel. <laughs> 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 that, that, yeah, that's why sometimes she's uh, like tired. Like, <laughs> like, is, that, is that true, Tanya? Then you now you're your girl, yes. is that true? Oh, you see, yes, that, <laughs> that is a big, a big example. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, and what? Uh -huh. and, yeah, before? and before marriage, uh -huh. the woman uh, didn't do anything. <laughs> well, that depends on the mother and the family, right? Yeah, but sometimes in my case, uh, when I, I was. Uh, really tighter, my mom. Ah. Uh, to the laundry. <laughs> of course, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you. Your mama is a still pamper you. You know what pamper is? Pamper you? <laughs> That's another expression. Consentida, pamper you. Pamper huh? you. But yes, no, because you. because your baby. <laughs> when you're a baby, you pamper the baby, right? So that means that before we got married, we are still uh, our babies for our parents. So that happens to you, Zulmita. So you're tired. Your mama do the uh, the laundry. The mama do the food for you, etc. So she pamper you, like the baby. <laughs> That's another expression. Yeah. Now is not the same. <laughs> okay. So any other idea about marriages? What happens before marriage? Hey, before marriage, you can go alone with your friends, right? Anytime that you want. What about after marriage, Rosario? <laughs> what happened after marriage, Rosario? Is it still the same? After marriage. Uh huh. Can you get along with your friends as frequently as it used to be when you were uh, uh, not married? When, when after marriage, uh, mm -hmm. I, I have very happy. Yes, yeah, so you see? After marriage, I'm very happy. Yeah, very good, excellent. What about uh, seasons? You know what seasons are? Seasons, yeah? What can we say about seasons? Use the relative class of time before, before seasons. What can we say about that? About that? Like before yeah. the winter, mm -hmm. people go to the beach. Very good, that's amazing, all right, right? Another one, Tanya? Just uh, after. After the summer? After the summer, yes. Come on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have a good one, but, but continue. <laughs> I have a good one that came into my mind right now. <laughs> after the summer? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can. You know, you know that. 
Think about your summer times. In the summer times when the weather is fine. Like that. <laughs> um, I, I'm raining. After the summer, it starts raining. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> okay. You know what? I thought about something. After summer, I can start eating the things that I like. <laughs> like, yeah, like a piece of cake and something like that. Because in summer, you have to be like, ooh, ooh, right? In shape. <laughs> Very good. Uh, what about, uh, 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 oh, here in El Salvador, we only have two, two seasons, right? Two seasons. Oh my God, there we have four. But imagine girls that you are in winter. Okay, when the winter is coming or when, when we are in the winter time, what you can do girls? Give you an idea, any idea? Any idea that come up in your mind? Well, let me give you an example. Uh, when, when we are in winter, a, we built snowmans with my friends. Hmm? Any other idea? Here winter is no snow, right? Here winter is, it's a, a lot of rains, right? Here in El Salvador. So what can you do? Think about your yeah, the El Salvador winter. What can you do? Or what do you do in winter time or during winter time? People don't like to take the bus. <laughs> uh huh. To don't take the bus. Uh huh. In the relative close of time. Is when before or after? When when is, when it's raining. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. So you see, you can do it. Excellent. Yes. Well, I don't know about you girls, but I love rain. Yeah. I love to be rain. I love. It. You know what? I remember when i was a child that i used to play basketball with my dad outside and it was really nice well i like it i like it and i like to be like a frog jumping on the holes and get wet <laughs> completely <laughs> i like it. my dogs love the rainy you know they love it i don't know and after they dry they like smell like bad and i need to take they'll give them a shower right but it's really really nice yeah, I love them. Hey, girls. Well, you know what? It's time. Can you imagine? Time passed really fast. Wow. So, girls, and uh, let me give you right now your writing exercise for you to practice. And we're going to disc uh, double check it out uh, when we come back on Monday, right? So, I'll give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to send it to you. And I will also give you right now, girls, uh, more information about the very classes of time that we saw today when, after, and before. So they will give you an idea, okay? I send it to you right now. Let me know if you receive it, girls. Yes, right? Eh, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for being in today's class. I'm really happy to see you. Maybe you were tired, maybe you were running like Miss Rosario, right? Like, whew, she was swearing like, yeah, I'm going to be on time. Yeah, and Rachel was like, shh. Yeah, <laughs> but you are here and also you're tired because of the traffic, right? Like Tanya, maybe. And maybe you're you're angry, you're hangry, right? Like like Solmita. <laughs> but don't worry, your mom is going to prepare the dinner, okay? <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> it was really nice to have you in today's class. I wish you a really um great night and also a wonderful weekend. And we can see you on Monday, okay? Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.